So what a match that was, that men's singles. We turn our attention now to men's doubles. And it is the world number ones and two-time defending champions, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio up against the former world champions, Liu Cheng and Jan Nan. Now, as far as the race to Guangzhou is concerned, Gideon and Sukamolio have already qualified. They're quite clearly the number one pair in the world at the moment. The number six pair on that list, Li Chun Hui and Liu Yu Chen, despite losing yesterday in the quarterfinal, they get an invitation as world champions. Well, another pair that's in the semi-final is Asan and Setia One. They're currently at number 10. By virtue of their semi-final, they will go up to number eight. If they reach the final, they will go up even higher. So the uh, pair we're about to watch, Liu Cheng and Zhang Nang, uh, they are languishing at 25 on the race to Guangzhou at the moment. And as you're only allowed two pairs per nation, they simply have no chance of overtaking Han Cheng Kai and Zhao Haodong which is what they'd have to do because the world champions at number six get that automatic invitation. But they are playing for a place in the final and large prize money as well that goes with it. So as far as uh, quarterfinal stage was concerned, we only had four seeds uh, left in, only one in the bottom half of the draw, five different nationalities represented because we had three pairs from China, as you can see. In the bottom quarter, uh, there was an all-Chinese affair, and the less said about that, the better, I think. In the uh, top half, well, the European champions uh, couldn't match Gideon and Sulcamolio, despite having a game point in the opening game. So we're going to concentrate, first of all, on the top half of the uh, draw. And the world number ones, the two-time defending champions, Gideon and Sulcamolio up against last year's world champions Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan. Well, should Gideon and Sukumolio win today's semi-final and get through to the final, they have a chance to win three consecutive titles here in Fuzhou. And they're already only one of three different pairs who've managed to achieve that since the inception of the Super Series back in 2007. One of the other pairs actually did it here at the China Open. That was the late Zhang Jae Sung and Lee Yong Dae who won three titles between 2008 and 2010. The other pair, the only other men's doubles pair to win three consecutive Super Series or World Tour titles at the same event was Boa Mogensen, who won three consecutive Super Series Finals titles. And of course, Gideon and Sukamolio earlier this year won their third consecutive India Open title. So going for three consecutive, but they need to beat the former world champions in today's semi-final if they're there to give themselves a chance of achieving that. So this will be the sixth meeting between these two pairs and the previous five. Gideon and Sukumolio have won four of them, including the last two. The last time they met was in the semi-final of the Thomas Cup. And it was Gideon and Sukumolio who won through in three games. 55 minutes for that three-game match in Bangkok. So, Tong Pa Tong Tup from Thailand. Toss of the coin complete. And the players start their two minutes warm up period. So as far as Gideon and Sukamolio were concerned, in 2016 they beat Bo Morgensen in the final, and last year it was an exact repeat. They beat to that Danish combination once again. 27 years of age, born in Jakarta, Gideon. And this their third consecutive appearance, which means that they've never lost in this tournament here in full jaw. 13 and 0 
over the three years they've played in Fujo. Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio is 23 years of age. They are the world number ones. And they're looking to reach their ninth final in only their 11th in 12th tournament this year. Eight previous finals, seven titles. The first final they lost this year was the last of the 750 events in Paris at the French Open. All of their matches so far in two straight games, including the European champions, the number six seeds in yesterday's quarterfinal, Astrup and Rasmussen. Just 41 minutes for that, despite being a very close opening game. So to Liu Cheng, 26 years of age from Fujian province, which is where we are now, but he was born in San Ming City. Up one place on the world ranking this week, the former world champions to number six, but they did spend seven weeks as world number twos. Zhang Nan trying today to reach a seventh final here at the this China Open. He's been in one men's doubles final. That was back in 2010 with Chai Biao. And five mixed doubles finals, having won the mixed doubles title three times. Now, looking at their path through to today's semi-final, the first two matches Ready they were taking the full distance, including the Olympic silver medalists, Govi Shem and Tanwi Kyong, in the second round. And then against Liao Min Chung and Su Cheng Ching Heng, of Chinese Taipei in yesterday's quarter-final. So as I was telling you, our umpire for this, Kreising Tong Tob, and service judge Rajiv from India. Her Bing, uh, Han Bing, one of the two Chinese coaches. And I think it was Chen Chi Chu was the other. They, of course, have got their backs to me as I'm looking down on the court, because I'm looking down on the court exactly as you are. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Shang Nan, Lu Sheng, China. And on my left, Marcus Benedis, Yon Yon, and Kevin Sanjaya Sansu Morio, Indonesia. Kevin ja Sanjaya Suka Murio to serve to Changnan. The ball play. So the current world number ones against the former world champions. Already very interesting tactics to me. I think One the Chinese pair are going to be very happy to defend and try and work their opponents uh, because the Indonesians, there's no doubt about it, like to play a very fast and furious game and certainly involve this man, Sukumolio, at the front of the court. Well, if they're defending and keep lifting to the back of the court, then he won't be involved. Oh, yes. 
good interception. There's Chen Chi Chu. Yeah, perfect placement. Reigning Olympic champion, this man, Zhang Dan. Won the gold in Rio with Fu Haifeng. Oh. Having won mixed doubles gold in London in 2012 with Zhao Yunlei. So the second man in history to win golds in badminton in two different disciplines. Following in the footsteps Service of over. Kim Dong Moon. Three, two. Service over. Four on. Oh. oh, my goodness. Well, that serve tumbled. Five. Four. Indonesians are developing a serve where they chop underneath the cork of the shuttle. So it's perfectly legal. It just makes the shuttle tumble a little more, and it's very, very difficult on the return. I think it's a good development for the sport because the returner for a long time has had the advantage, Six, I think, in men's doubles. Four. Learning to do something new with oh. the shuttle is always an exciting development of a sport. Five, six. Oh. Low serve is short. First service error of the match. Five. Yeah, he was trying to chop underneath that as well, I think. Oh. oh, a couple of miss hits there. Service over. Yeah, they all Six, count. Seven. Anything loose like that Service when Sukumolio is at the Eight, net. Six. Oh. Nice change of pace. Service over. Seven. Back level. Oh. 
Oh my goodness, that's just superb. And looks so casual about it's it too. Nine, eight. Perfect. Well, I thought for after the first Nine, couple of rallies, we'd four. have a lot of long rallies in this match, but it hasn't transpired so far. Oh. <laughs> Well, I think Sukumoli wasn't really aware until too late. String's gone. That didn't sound right. No, definitely not right. Ten or well, it'll be very interesting to know what the longest rally is so far. Because it won't be very many, I can assure you. First or second oh. rally. Longest rally, 42 shots. Yes, I think that was the first or second rally. Since then, I don't know if we've had ten, one over 20 shots. One. But it is the two-time defending champions who have the advantage at the mid-game interval. Albeit just a one-point advantage. Get 11, 10, 1, play. Service over. 11, Well, it's never four. a dull moment when Sukumolio is on court. Always goes for extravagant shots. Consecutive errors on return 13, of serves. 11. since the mid-game interval 14, have been won by 11. the former world champions from China.
Oh, now that is definitely worth a challenge. I thought that was clearly in. And Kevin Sharon Horn out. So what does Hawkeye think on that one? Must have been closer because Walker are taking their time. Here we go. Oh, it was out. Oh, I'm very, very surprised about that. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So five points since the mid-game interval have all gone in favour of Play. Liu Chung and Zhang Nang. That's six straight points. Extraordinary. So it's over. Oh, I beg your pardon. 15. Of course, it went out. Put away ah, with Venom. 14, 16. That's what he does so well. 15, 16. Oh, oh. Uh, usually, so this is over. very much a power player. 17. Liu Cheng. Now oh, that was a lovely touch, lovely change of pace. He's got lovely touch. Sukumolio. Great interception. 16, and he's such 17. a danger of hitting it hard that it means that when he does take the pace off, it's so effective. What 
Russell rally. Terrific there. Uh, and it was the change of pace from Jiang Nan that made the difference. Those reactions. Yeah. But he's not seen it quite as clearly today. Sukumolio. And it's four game point opportunities for the former world champions Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan. Opening game, 21-17 in favour of the Chinese pair, the former world champions Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan. Just under the 20-minute mark. So if they're to retain their title and get through this semi-final, at least they're going to have to come from behind the defending champions. Second game. Love all. Play. Good combination play Service from the over. Chinese players. One, all. Good rotational work. The initial smash from Jiang Nan and his partner moves oh. out on the cross court left. Jiang Nan moves forward to make the interception and make the kill. Oh. Uh, oh. There. Good placement. Service over. 
two, one. Total confusion. Well, that's, I mean, they've played together for long enough now, the Indonesians, to know who should go for that. That, to me, is a sign that they're a little bit rattled. this second game. Oh, it was the longest rally of the match. It's very, very interesting to me the fact that Zhang Nan is standing his ground and really taking on Sukumolio. So it's over for all. That's a great serve. Oh. Yeah. Well, I was Six. watching their second Four. round match, Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan against the Olympic silver medalists, Govi Shem and Tam Wei Kiong. And I have to say that Liu Cheng today is playing immeasurably better than he was on Thursday. Service over. Five, six, Oh, well, there you are. There's the curse of the commentator. Six Just saying how well he's playing today. Makes a horrendous mistake. Oh. A little bit of luck. The net court. Oh. Uh, 
clever half smash from Jung Nun. Yeah, there's far more attacking play Service now. Over. And it's calculated attacking play from the Indonesians. Seven. Seem to be rushing things a little bit in the opening game. And then they were making mistakes. Whoa. So there's error from Sukumolio. I think that might be the first from the Indonesians. Oh. There's definitely two from the Chinese pair. No question of that. Ah. 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 Service over. Nine, eight. So to the mid-game interval eight, with a three-point advantage. The defending champions. Eleven and oh. play. Oh, behind the back. Yeah. Service over. Nine, eleven. Over twelve nine. Yeah, well, nice idea from Chang. It's very, very good. Like that of changing from backhand defence to forehand defence when necessary. Thirteen nine. at the front of the court, 10, like that. He's a powerful athlete, isn't he, Lu Cheng? 
Not the same variety of shot as this man. over exuberance 11, gets him 14. into trouble because quite frankly I think it would have been better for Gideon to have played that shot oh. rather than Sukumolio trying to intercept Offensive, reactive shot. was a real opportunity. This lift is short. No wonder he's disappointed. Four point cushion now for Gideon and Sukamolio. This is what I thought the Chinese pair were going to do from the start of the match. the rally to a conclusion. Well, I do hope we get a rally length on that. There we are, 71 shots. Indeed, it was the longest rally of the match so far. I could just feel it as the rally was in progress.
So now just two points in it. Disappointed with that. Because now there's just Ripped one point in, in it. Oh. Oh, that's a good return of serve. 17, 15. Both left it for the other. Eight, ten, fifteen. Oh. Yes, John now was expecting the rotational movement again. Never happened. the challenge here. Kevin and Marcus challenge on out. Well, the challenge was immediate and I suspect that as much as anything they just want a chance to have a bit of a breather. Here we go, what does Hawkeye say? Yeah, it was clearly out in badminton terms. means it's just one challenge point in it. One challenge remaining, so it's over. 17, 18. Sticklers for neat. Boxes, these on pause. Play. Just as well, they don't come up to my commentary position. Oh. That's a delightful block from Jang Nan. Ah! Oh. Makes an error on the relatively easy one. So it's over. 19, 17. Two point advantage and two points away from taking this second game. point away from taking this second game and forcing game a decider.
Second game, 21-18 in favour of the two-time defending champions. And we will indeed be treated to a third and deciding game. Forty-three minutes into the match, one game apiece. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. So the Indonesian coach Ariona Merenat having given his advice. Players return to court. The question is, can the players implement that advice? in this deciding game. Oh yes. Out of their favoured formation, One but love. Marcus Fernaldi Gideon just proving that he too can be very effective from the front of the court. Disarray now, the Chinese pair on their rotational play. Way off balance, Liu Chung, having played that last smash. And that was became an issue when they were playing their second round match against the Malaysians, Go and Tan. I don't know whether it's fatigue from Liu Chung. Certainly his defensive play was exposed in his second round match that I was watching. Oh, goodness me. Gideon. Doing a succumolio. Sukumoli and play that third shot. Yeah. Well played from Jang Nam. So it's over. One, four. I'm not sure he should have taken that first one, maybe oh. going out, but when it's so loose, you might as well take it and play it, play the winner.
Oh, my goodness. He doesn't miss many of those. So it's over with five, three. Double Olympic gold medalist. That's a rarity, an error like that. Broken string, new chunk. Service over. Four, five. Well, Gideon and Sukumodio have already won two of the previous four Super 750 events. One in Japan and in Denmark then lost in the final in Paris. They've already been in three finals at Super 750 level. There's only a total of five per year. This oh. is the fifth and final Super 750 of 2018. guilty of serving Four. and then backing off. It was a clever return though. We oh. often talk about that little push into the mid-court area, past the front court player, but in front of the rear court player. Oh. Yeah. So it's over. Five. Just reverted to the short rallies again. So much pressure on the serve return and third shot in men's doubles. If you get past that, you've got a chance of a nice long rally, but the issue is getting past that. Here we go. Don't believe it. Incredible rally. Well judged, it's gone long. All this challenge here from Gideon. No, I fear that's a wasted challenge. That looked long to me. It's this next one. Watch how he plays this. Oh, we're not going to see it. That's a pity. So the next one he played off the floor that was so extraordinary. Yeah, it is a wasted challenge. Challenge and successful. One challenge remaining. So it's over. Seven all. Play. Made one challenge in each of the three games so far. The Indonesian pair, their opponents, have oh. been challenged once. Oh. Mm. Well wide. So it's over. Eight, seven. Oh. 
Yeah, there was a big gap across Nine, court. Young Nan knew it. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness me. Ten, well, he's not the seven. tallest of athletes, Sukumolio. 170, 5 foot 7. Oh, look at that. That came down from a great height. Powerful and good placement. And a call from Eleven, Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio to his partner to leave it was a wise one. So four points the advantage as they change ends in this deciding game. 55 minutes into the match. Here we go, this was the one that was an extraordinary defensive shot after this. Mm. Game we didn't see it. <laughs> oh, oh. Eleven, seven, play. points is broken after the change of ends because that have been four Ten, straight points to the Indonesians. Oh. oh yes, clever. Lovely Service drop shot there from Gideon. Twelve, eight. Really learned his trade, as it were, Gideon. Playing men's doubles with former Olympic champion Marcus Kido. In 2013, the French Super Series is qualifies. So Mr. Opa, 9-12. Aim towards that right shoulder. Clever placement. A desperation shot, 14, I think, from Liu Chang. Nine. Trying to d defend cross court this one. Wrong choice of shot, oh. and probably the most extravagant and difficult shot to play. felt that the third game was beginning to run away from them. Oh! 
Oh, my goodness. Short, short lift and... Gideon thumped it into the bottom of the net. Immediately looked at his racket, but his strings weren't broken. Well, must have been the racket. Can't possibly make a mistake like that. Oh, that's just Sukumolio at his best. So it's over. Intercepts a shot that no other player, I think, would be able to intercept. He was moving to intercept that before it was even played. from Sukumolio. It's going wide. Yep. 16-11. Look at this one from Sukumolio. Just a little slice cross court in a oh. downward direction. Oh. Force the error. eventually broke down the defence of the former world champions. 11. Yeah, once again, it was the defence of Liu Chang that was broken down first. He's the one that made the error. Just wide. Yeah. One has a feeling of inevitability about this match now. And it's in favour of the defending champions. Beautiful block and how he moves forward. Super play for the Olympic champion. Oh. Yeah, this time shot. So That's quite often a sign 19, of fatigue. 13. Two points away from a third consecutive final here for the two-time defending champions. Voice ah! ah! lightning. Typical. 
Sukumoli will play. Seven match point opportunities for Gideon and Sukumoli. Oh, my goodness, a little bit of trickery as well. This time they convert on their second match point opportunity. And the two-time defending champions, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio, safely through to a third consecutive final. And there's not even a ripple of applause from the fans here in Fujo. They applaud now because uh, the uh, beaten semi-finalists show their appreciation of the fans. Twenty-one fourteen deciding game confirms the umpire. An hour and five minutes for the defending champions to book their place in the final once again.